The president gave you special attention and yet you are very brave and blatant to say na hindi ka malakas kay former President Duterte. Yes, sir. You are now the NCRP commander, but you were formerly the uh, uh, head of the Directorate for Personnel and Records Management. You're correct, uh, Mr. Chair. Yes. Hindi po ba ang policy, when you transfer personnel from region to region, the commanders are supposed to be uh, asked whether they want the transfer or not? Uh, the the uh, our policy states that you have to get the uh, accommodation to the gaining unit, and you have to get an availability for transfer from your current unit. If you satisfy those requirements, then the order can be issued by the Directorate for Personal Records Management, Mr. Chair. And it is uh, it is only the officer who is transferred. Hindi yung lump sum na nililipat mo, di ba? Kasi pag nagdala ka ng tao mo na lima, it is frowned upon by headquarters Camp Krame. Uh, <clears throat> when I was the director for personal records management, Mr. Chair, uh, we, we discouraged the yung tinatawag na parang hakot, Mr. Chair. That is why it's frowned upon. Yes, sir. Yes. That's right. Now, in the case of uh, uh, Colonel Patay, he was transferred from Davao del Norte, if I'm correct. Colonel Patay? Yes, Mr. Chair. You were transferred to NCRPO, isang team, di po ba? Yes, Mr. Chair. And then it is by order of the Chief PN, Philippine National Police. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Yes. Ang tawag nyo, don't shoot out order. Walang dinaanan, basat ini uh, in-implement ng DPRM. Would that be correct? Diba? General Ernia, ganun? Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, there are cases that uh, we call shoot order. And uh, normally, it is upon guidance of, uh, for third level, normally it's upon the guidance of the GPNP. That is why I said, uh, si, si Colonel Patay was transferred from Davao Norte together with his team to NCRPO and eventually to be assigned Station 6 of the QCPD. Hindi ba, Colonel Patay? Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes. And then, the same is true with uh, with uh, Colonel Marcos. In so far as CIDG is concerned, he was brought and assigned to Region 11 CIDG together with his team. So, kung titignan mo yung mga movements, Talagang may plano. Di ba? There's a plan na ganun ang mangyayari. And maybe that is the reason why uh, yung si Colonel Pitalio ay na-assigned sa Laguna, na-assigned sa Rizal. Now, DG Lasso, can you provide this committee the areas where extrajudicial killings involving drug uh, or drug-related killings were rampant? in this country. Pwede po ba kayong magbigay sa amin dito sa committee na ito yung mga probinsya, mga lugar kung saan maraming drug-related uh, killings? Uh, Your Honor, uh, we can do that but respectfully, I would like to seek the help of uh, the PNP by providing us the details of the 6,000 252 the data on the persons who died during anti-drug operations totaling to 6,252 why? because of this number uh, only 173 was initiated by the PDEA and one was initiated by NBI 6,085 is uh, attributed to the PNP or honor and out of the 6,000 plus, 
uh, ilan po yung ilan po yung high value targets ilan yung users lang at saka ilan yung pushers for so want to the tokang operations your honor i we do not have that uh, data with us uh, we can we can try to we will try to distinguish uh, uh, the victims as to how they were categorized your honor thank you uh, Madam Garma, meron po kayong affidavit at saka diagram na binigay. Pero tama po yung sabi nila, wala po kayo. Hindi po ba? Yes, you're on. Yes, you're on. Now, how would you know these things kung wala ka sa sistema? Um, nung pong umpisa po na inaayos po ni Sir sa CIDG, yung mga ganyan po eh since friends ko rin naman sila and uh, parang nalaman ni Sir Leonardo din na kaya na, siya ang na-mention dahil po nagtanong sa akin si Presidente nagkukwento po siya and pag nandun pa ako sa presina nakikita ko yung movement So lahat ng informasyon mo tungkol dito sa war on drugs na, na nakalagay dito yung, sa iyong affidavit at saka dito sa diagram na binigay mo Galing po lahat ito kay Colonel Leonardo in your um, meetings uh, with him? Uh, yes, Your Honor. And yes po. And yung experience din nila sa ground? As Hindi, na, uh, uh, kasi uh, experience nila sa ground. So in other words, sa lahat ng bagay, hindi po kayo kasama. Pero karamihan sa detalye ng operation ng War on Drugs, alam po ninyo. And yet, you say, hindi ka kasama sa sistema. Alam ko po, Mr. Chair, kasi po, uh, kami po din sa ground, nakakahalubilo po yung R2 namin, yung mga operatiba, yan po pinagkukwentuhan. And there was a briefing uh, na, na pagkausap po siya, si Sir Leonardo, nakukwento niya yung level, sa ano ba yung level 1 na yan? Hindi, dahil pag level 1, ano lang yan, ordinary, nag explain siya. I cannot recall na lang po yung specific amounts po sa lahat. Okay. nag explain po siya sa akin. On that day, you said that you were called by the President. Dalawa lang kayo nag-usap. Yes, Your Honor. Tapos, uh, hindi mo inaamin dito sa amin sa previous hearing na hindi ka malakas kay Presidente Duterte? I don't... Hindi ko alam kung malakas po... po. Yeah, I think so, Mr. Chair. Na... Ngayon, inaamin mo na malakas ka sa kanya. Na... Because I can see from the scheme of things, tatatlo lang naman yung kwan eh, official na malakas nun doon sa na level na mataas, malakas kay Presidente. Ikaw, si Colonel Leonardo, at saka si Sen. Bato de la Rosa. All the other officers, PNP officers, assigned in Davao, and as I lalo yung pangani nyo eh. Tama? Kasi, Madam Garma, all the signs are there na malakas ka kay former President Digong. Kasi, sa isang ceremony sa Malacanang, where generals of the Bureau of Jail Management and Penology, Bureau of Fire Protection, and the Philippine National Police, naka-white duck silang lahat eh. At ikaw lang ang colonel, lieutenant colonel na mapapromote sa full colonel in blue attire. The president gave you special attention and yet, you are very brave and blatant to say na hindi ka malakas kay former president Duterte. I would have cited you in contempt then because you were lying. Pero now that you are cooperating, Aaminin mo ba ngayon? During, yes, Mr. Chair. I have... Uh, uh, mabuti, inaamin mo. Ngayon, in so far as the question of the Honorable Fernandez is concerned, whether you have romantic ties with the President, I leave that to the imagination of the Honorable Fernandez. Hindi na ako magtatanong doon. Uh, uh, 
Kasi kung magtatanong ako, baka umamin ka eh. Kaya ayaw ko na rin. Oh, sa totoo lang. Baka umamin ka. At anyway, uh, yung binanggit mo na pangalan, Romel Baktat, Rodel Serbo, Mik Mikael Palma, they were all members of CIDG? Yes, uh, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Chair. And how did you come to know them? I was assigned with CIDG in um, 2005 to 2008. And how so, did you know their specific uh, assignments vis-a-vis -vis Colonel Leonardo? As sinasabi po nila eh. Pina Sino nagsasabi? Sila po, sir. Uh, kung kung nag tapok <coughs> nag ipon ipon sir okay and sa observe naman sa movement oh paki encode mo to ganun makikita mo ah okay so pag pulis po chismos so chismosa po tayo so nagtatanong po tayo Mr. Chair kaya, kaya ako po, nagtatala ko Madam po. Garma alam mo ang sistema yung general structure at saka flow ng communications at saka flow ng monetary considerations pero hindi ka kasama sa sistema. Uh, hindi ako makapaniwala doon, Madam Ama. Now, itong si Baktat, Serbo and Palma were already dismissed I think this year, right? Yes, Mr. Chair. 